We are Cam and Heather on Sea Clef, and we are on the trip of a lifetime. Come share in our adventures as we take you through the Great Lakes to Chicago, down through the river system of the Midwest, along the panhandle of Florida, across the Gulf of Mexico, and down the west side of Florida, crossing through the Okeechobee Waterway to Eastern Florida. Then share in our adventures as we continue throughout the Bahamas and back up the Eastern seaboard, finally returning to Canada on America's Great Loop. Today's one day journey takes us through downtown New York Harbor, past the Statue of Liberty, and onward up the Hudson River toward the Erie Canal. We are just leaving Great Kills Marina and heading to the New York Harbor. And this is what all the dads are doing for their Sunday, Father's Day, out fishing. My husband, the dad in our family, is steering, but we're steering to exciting things today. It's always pretty cool when you're going into a big city, into a downtown, in a way that you don't normally do. So we are going into New York Harbor. We have a very special lady that we plan on visiting, at least waving to. I want to get a photo up of this gal. <laughs> Me too. Our travels were 51.3 nautical miles, departing the Great Kills Yacht Club at 8.20 in the morning, and we arrived at the Cortland Yacht Club at 2.50 p.m. that same afternoon, with an average speed of 7.9 knots. getting closer. That is the, pardon my pronunciation, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge or possibly the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. I'm thinking Verrazano. There's a large Italian population. I like Verrazano. Verrazano. There we go. <laughs> <coughs> Lots of Italian. I cannot believe we're doing this on our boat. <laughs> this is another one of those pinch me moments. Very exciting. We have a little traffic as we are approaching the Verrazano, Verrazano Bridge. Um, this guy, Upo Korea, deceptively, he is going 12 knots. He looks like he's going pretty slow, but he's going 12 knots. This guy over here, uh, ever best. This guy's going 16 miles per hour. And uh, this guy's going 12. There they are. They're passing each other right now. Big, big ships. hearing is the AIS uh, Actually, the AIS the, uh, tub. Oh, it's the AIS tub. I guess we've already had the AIS for this guy. So we are in the New York Harbor. We would like to go see the Statue of Liberty, which is right here. But we got to get through all of that. And anything that's that color is bad or at least we have to be aware of it. We've already uh, had to avoid this fellow in front of us, uh, but uh, we're, we're just making our way up here, but we need to cross over to the other side of the harbor to get to the Statue of Liberty, which is 
where we want to stop do a photo op. So we'll probably come in this channel here and tuck in behind, take some photos, uh, or maybe out front here, and, uh, and be on our way. But there is a lot of traffic. Every one of those green boats is an AIS signature of a vessel that's a potential threat to us. As we approached the Statue of Liberty, we discussed with our buddy boat doing a loop drive-by for photo ops. The harbor's busy, so it's important to be aware of the traffic around you and be quick about the photos. We are here, we are at the Statue of Liberty! And over here is Ellis Island, when my grandfather, Umpy, emigrated to North America, eventually to Canada, he came through Ellis Island. And here we are, we're just about to get lined up for a picture. Yay, I'm so excited. I, I think this might officially be the busiest harbor we've ever been in. We are now in the Hudson. The AIS alarm is going off constantly. There's nothing we can do about that. We are now past the Statue of Liberty, which was one heck of a treat. And we are uh, heading into New York and uh, with Manhattan on our, on our bow. George Washington Bridge. I think things are going to change significantly scenery wise once we get there. But we've been noticing a change already instead of all the huge skyscrapers, skyscrapers and fancy buildings. We've been seeing a lot of older architecture and now trees right down to the water line.
started seeing the cliff, but uh, the last um, high-rise building is just before the uh, bridge tower. And then New York City's gone. striking things here is that we are just surrounded by nature on this side with these palisades, this line of cliff, and all those trees, that forest, and as we can behind us, there it is, the concrete jungle, New York City. are about to go under. The height of the bridge is 139 feet. Big pocket bridge. Upon arrival into the Cortland Yacht Club, our plan was to stay a couple of nights and enjoy the amenities. However, there are no finger docks, so we would have to exit the boat from our stern onto the main dock. With our dinghy covering the entire transom and an inability to exit off the side exit to a finger dock, we had to climb over the dinghy to exit the boat. And this is challenging, so we opted to depart the next morning.